Now say, I am Captain America! I am Captain America! I am Captain America. <laughs> Hello YouTube! Today I am working on a shoot, but it's not actually my shoot, so I'm gonna introduce you in a minute. But today I am working with Vish Vijit, aka Captain America. How's it going? I'm good, how are you? Good! So tell me a little bit about um, what, what we're doing here today. We are doing a Captain America photo shoot in Seattle. We have about 30 Captain Americas today coming from all different backgrounds, love of America, love of Captain America, and we're donning different kinds of uniforms, but they're all Captain America, and we're sharing stories, because that's what make, makes America special. Uh, mix and biracial, and um, I like to swim. That's my favorite sport. Why do you want to be a pediatric surgeon? Um, I love little kids. Like, I'm in eighth grade, so I'll go down to the kindergartners and I'll help them. I'm here so other people know what multiracial families can be different, but can still be great. What, is, what does Simran want to be when she grows up? I want to be a biomedical engineer. What was the best part of the photo shoot today? I think it was going to pose with my family. And... What's your story? My story, boy, uh, how much time do we have? It's a <laughs> long story. How are you doing this morning, ladies? Uh, we're good. Oh, we're Bless. video. Yes, we are having an <laughs> awesome <this> time. <laughs> I, I ended up having some really cool conversations with delegates who were going and saying, uh, you know, just sharing stories, and we just ended up having conversations. So that's the other thing that happens. Usually some people will not talk to me, but in this uniform, they're like, oh, it, oh, it's, oh. it's very oh. approachable. I found like <laughs> yeah. at the conventions, People, I, I wear other costumes, but people always come up yes. and talk to me when I wear this oh, one. Really? Yeah, there is something about oh, unique. Oh. It's not, you know, Superman, Batman, other. It's yeah. just something about Captain America. It's like. And so this whole week, I spend a week with them, with the kiddos, uh -huh. to use comics to tell their stories. Oh, so we gotta put that in an anthology so together. So when I do my keynote, it's really gonna be our stories. And I mean, they're just, you know, these are kids who've come from homeless backgrounds, um, traumas, domestic violence. But you know, when you talk to them, I mean, they, they, they want to like change this world. They want yeah. to right. tackle inequality, racism, right. the wall, and they just, they're amazing. Welcome to the studio. It looks like we've got a shoot going on right now. All right. And then, what else do you want to do? I got an idea. So I want to act like, you know how Captain America jumps really high? So you're going to pretend you're jumping. And your arm's going to be up and the shield's going to be up in the other hand. Yes. And scoot, so scoot back one step. Yep. I'm going to get really high. And you're kind of jumping at me. One moment. Yep. <laughs> So we've got <laughs> Nate here. We're we're finally uh, got a break in between some people. So Nate, why don't you tell us about what we're doing today? So we've got about thirty different Captain Americas. Or so. yeah, yeah, yeah. We got uh, you know, and we, we organized this in uh, a little less than three weeks. It's been in our head since fall. Um, Christy Score Smith and 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 my friend Vish, um, uh, A.K.A. Uh, Sikh Captain America. And, uh, and my studio mate Greg and me, and we've been brainstormed for quite a bit, and it finally all fell together in the last three weeks. So Vish has a, he, had, he recently had an exhibi exhibition at Wing Luke Museum here in Chinatown in Seattle, and um, got a lot of people's attention and here in Seattle, and so Seattle's been probably the most receptive city to his message. Uh, he keeps coming back. Um, he was here last month for, for Fred Hutch Cancer Research Center, and um, here this week for to spend time with the kiddos at Solid Ground, a nonprofit, and uh, and today, and um, he's excited. He's really stoked to hear everyone's. It's not only a portrait project, but it's a storytelling project. So we're going to pair people's stories with the images, trying to show uh, to broaden people's vision of kind of who is American and and who 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 can be a superhero. It's cool because people, everyone here, some people came in costumes, other people, uh, we have a whole wardrobe of various Captain America apparel. And uh, they're kind of, uh, they're, you know, however they want to present themselves. Some people, it's their everyday look, just incorporating the color scheme of, of the superhero, the iconic superhero. And, um, and Vish himself, I guess, um, as it resonated with me. I met him in 2016 outside. I was photographing the Republican National 
convention in Cleveland, he was outside protesting with compassion. And he caught my eye. And um, it was, it's kind of an image when you see Captain America wearing a turban and beard. Uh, that is an image that gets imprinted on your brain. We're using that to kind of, um, the power of uh, images to amplify uh, people's stories, because that's what he's about. Um, his, one of the things he says is, um, labels confine us, stories define us. What, what is it that you're hoping to get out of this project? And then where can people see more about his story and your finished photos? So you can see, read about, more about his story. He's an amazing writer. And his, um, he's written columns for you name it. Um, I've read them all. <laughs> Did my homework. And so, you know, Time, Newsweek, BBC, The Guardian, nice. you name it. They just Google sick Captain America. And he will come up, and it, and uh, he's gone viral a few times. And so he's written a lot of columns. He's been interviewed quite a bit, um, especially for teaching uh, the website's Teaching Tolerance, which is uh, Southern Poverty Law Center. That's their website, their publication. And so he's done a lot of uh, writing for them. Uh, really, uh, yeah, I'm really impressed. He, He's just really good. Awesome. He's, and he's a good guy. Uh, and I'll find those links and put them down into the description. Oh. And then how can people see your project? Yeah, today? so this project today will be uh, a tab on my website, uh, American Superhero tab um, at Nate Gowdy Photography, or NateGowdy.com. So it's just Nate Gowdy, uh, which is howdy with a G. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, and also we're hoping to, we're hoping publications pick it up. We're hoping to get it out there and ultimately my goal with any passion project is a book. To have a book in my hand at the end when all's said and done, but that'll be a while. Awesome. All right, I'm gonna let you go because I know you've got more stuff to do on with the behind the scenes. Okay, thanks Ben, make me look good. <laughs>
entirety, but I do want to give you the short version. So definitely go check out his Instagram right there, or check out my friend Nate's project. Um, he's going to have a photo series, obviously what we're shooting today. Um, he's also doing some interviews as well. So definitely go check those out uh, if you want more, but I can give you the short version. So Vish, uh, he's, he's a writer, he's a cartoonist, he's a software engineer, but these are not usually the first things that people notice about him. So he created his Captain America in 2012, and it is him with beard and turban showing that uh, Captain America isn't just one thing. Captain America isn't just, you know, the white buff guy who's clean shaven. And um, this project today that Nate's working on really is showing that anyone can be Captain America. So he has um, all different people from all different backgrounds. I really suggest that you go check out his photo series today. But uh, one thing that I want to do is, as soon as I heard about this, one, I knew I wanted to be involved and help out with this project, but two, I knew that I wanted to get a photo of our our main Captain America here. So one of the things that I want to talk about today is uh, how to get the character of a subject and really create a photo that, I, uh, fe that feels representative of them. Even though I usually do dark, moody, dramatic, I really wanted to have something that shows off his message and what he's doing and how do you capture that in a photo still that doesn't have any words attached to it. But he's a New Yorker, that's where he lives right now even though he's lived everywhere. And he is the light in this, you know, dark, kinda awful world and he's making it a better place. And just, you know, one story at a time. So I really want to capture that kind of light. So what I'm gonna do actually is, is going to be a really high key portrait. We're going to shoot right in front of this window. We're going to let all that sun come through and then I'm going to fill in his face with just um, a little soft box here. Um, I've got my Westcott wrap box so we're going to do that. It's going to be really quick. I'll have about a minute in between him doing other shoots so I won't have behind the scenes footage of that but uh, that's what we're doing and fast forward. Now I'm done with the photo, and so here is uh, the photo that I got. Definitely go check him out on Instagram. Uh, check out Nate's project as well. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Like, subscribe, and think about what you can do through your photography to really show off those subjects. I would love to hear a project that you've worked on like this that meant a lot to you. Uh, leave it in the comments. Uh, I read every single one, and I will see you guys next week.